Okay, so I've Edward, and I've already put out a bunch of treats for him. I find that the treats are a lot easier. It helps keep him still um, while we're doing this. Usually he's pretty patient. So what I do is I put him down, and he, as you can see, he's he knows what's happening. So, but there we go. He's about ready to eat a treat. Come on, buddy. <laughs> Come on, buddy. You can eat one. Here. There you go. All right, once he starts eating, then I, I pull off the needle cover. And what I do is I grab like this, sort of against his body. I grab, a, I pinch a little tiny bit, and then I just, boop. Now he flinched a little bit, but he's fine. Now it's in, now up here, I, I'm sort of holding him down with one hand, and I just go, I roll this up. And then if you can look right here, you can see that it's dripping through and it's flowing to him. Now, the one thing I didn't point out earlier is that this started at the water level of one. So we're going to let it run all the way down to the water level of two. Um, and then each day, just another level all the way down to the bottom. I think um, before you're done, you're going to have to start from the beginning. So there's another one that starts at the very top. And this is pretty much it. I mean, I usually keep a hand on him, but when he's eating... He's usually pretty patient. No, you should still keep it because he's run away. Yep. He'll run away. If... Okay. But and so the only here, other... Way, we're already at one and a half, so we're going to be done pretty soon. So okay, well, do... I'm not going to keep that video on the whole time, but I will say when you take out the needle, the first thing you do is shut off the water. Before you take out the before needle. Before you take it out. Then sort of just hold where the needle is and slide it out. It's not Actually, a big deal. Hang on. It's, 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 almost, almost, it's almost time. One thing I want to point out. So you can see that the water is flowing out pretty quickly, which is good. Sometimes it will go really slow or it won't go at all. Usually it flows. Sometimes if you just sort of like flick it right here or just jimmy it, it it'll go. But this is pretty good. All right. We're at two. So, and this thing slid. So I'm going to grab this thing right here, slide it down. All the way to pinch it now you can see up here it's not flowing anymore so then i just go to edward like andrea said and just sort of grab push down and just pull it out now some water or saline it usually will spill out um but usually it's pretty clean and you're supposed to just sort of massage it in a little bit and just and that's pretty much it um, don't forget to replace the cap so just take it and and don't stick yourself just put it right okay. back on, and then we're done. We usually leave it on until the next time, just so like we always remember that the first step is to change it. So I leave it on, just coil it up, and I realize she might not be as tall as me, but you just she sort of- She's tall, she can do it. Just sort of put it up here, and now it's ready to go for tomorrow. Um, when this does run out, because it will run out at some point, because on the day when you get to the ninth, the last one will basically just be to empty it. Um, I have a little hook up here, where you could just take the new bag and hook it up there. So that's pretty much it. And Edward's, Edward's done. And then next is the last step, which is just doing the pills. Okay, which... and the first day, by the way, we'll have a clean needle on there for you so you don't have to worry about it. So the first day you start, it will start with a clean needle, but every day after that you'll change it.